what is going on everybody welcome back to coding with t in this video we are going to implement fluid slider in our app you can use this to get ratings from users by using this slider we are also going to use a button to get the number at which we set this slider we are also going to see what we can do when we touch and leave our slider like this disappearing text so without any further ado let's get started First of all, go to build.gradle file and paste this dependency. I will provide the link of this dependency down into the description box and then sync the project. Then go to XML file, cut this and place the fluid slider. As I have pasted the dependency, so I will be able to see fluid slider here and then I will set its attributes. Then I will add a text view which will contain some information about this slider. Then I will implement a button with the help of which we will be able to get the values from our slider. Now come to the Kotlin file, I will first declare three variables which will determine the minimum and the maximum value of our slider. Then I will declare the variables of slider 
text view and button and then I will bind them with their views in XML file. I will copy this and paste it two more times for my other two views. Then to track the current position of the slider, set the position listener interface as I am doing right now. To set the initial position of the slider, write down slider dot position is equal to your desired position. You can also set the starting and the ending text of slider by writing down slider dot start text and slider dot end text and then writing down your desired values. Then I will add a click listener interface on my button. And whenever someone clicks on the button, it will pass the current position as a string to this variable s and then the button text will be changed to that string value. Now if you want to do something as soon as you touch the slider then use this begin tracking listener interface and do whatever you want to do in between these brackets. I will simply set the visibility of my text view to invisible and then I will use end tracking listener interface and in this one I will set the visibility of my text view to visible. Okay so this is it. Now it's time to run our app. So as you can see app is working pretty much fine. And this is it for today. If you want to ask anything, write it down into the comment section. I will see you guys in the next video.